Hi and welcome to another tattoo from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the radio reveal or the clock swing reveal tutorial in Blender. So I've gone ahead and set up my scene. Um, my early tutorials go through how I actually get to this point in Blender, but um, I'll just go over it quickly. I have pressed 7 on the numpad to go to the X and Y view and I have gone and pressed Ctrl Alt and 0 to set the camera to the X and Y view here where Y is on the vertical and X is on the horizontal and I have gone ahead and deleted the default cube so I've got my colors on the right hand side I'm going to get straight into the tutorial alright so the first thing we need to do is to create a plane so we're going to go to object or add sorry down in a 3d viewpoint um, file menu here we're going to go to add go to mesh and plane or you can hit you can hit shift and a <coughs> excuse me and go to plane so we have our plane right here looking really good then we're going to press tab to go to edit mode or you can go to edit mode in our file in our 3d viewpoint file menu down here then we'll hit edit mode and now what we're going to do is going to now that we're in edit mode we're going to hold shift and select two vertices and we're selecting by right clicking good and we're just going to delete these two vertices good so that we only have two vertices at the top then we're going to select the two of them and we're going to hit G and Y and we're going to pull it down or you can pull it down with this green arrow right here I want it about in the center where we see this red line for the x-axis then we're going to pull this across so that the rightmost and this doesn't have to be the rightmost it could be the leftmost too but the rightmost vertice in this instance is in the middle and all of this isn't really necessary but we're just positioning the corkscrew or the the um, clock swing such that it moves from the center so this is we our pivot point and to help this help us make this our pivot point we're going to snap our 3d cursor which is this cursor here with the red and white we're going to snap it to this vertice right here so to do that we're going to hit shift and s and we're going to hit cursor to selected good so because we had the vertices selected it moved the 3d through the 3d um cursor we move the 3d cursor to this vertice so this is a good way if you want to position vertices um, position your 3d cursor in 3d space and make sure that you have a precise place where it's placed where, where you can put it you can use the snap tool you know and um, another way that you can use the snap tool is to go to mesh and snap and you see the same options here but I use shift and s good now with that done we're going to come out of edit mode then we're going to go to object transform origin to 3d cursor and that's going to move this green and red circle here to the 3d cursor that we have just snapped good so now that we have our origin to the 3d cursor we know exactly where the pivot is going to start for our radio reveal so next we're going to go to our properties editor and in the properties editor we're going to go to this wrench right here which is your modifier panel and we're going to add a modifier and we're going to add the screw modifier and we can see already that we have a, a nice circle here um, the steps are a little jagged but if we come down to the modifier options we can see that we have render steps and um, steps that we see in the viewpoint so we're just going to increase the steps in the viewpoint let's increase it to about 30 
Uh, let's use um, a higher number. Let's try 45. Okay, 45 looks good. I want to do the same for the render here. So this specifies what we see in the 3D viewpoint and this specifies what we see in the render. Good. And to toggle the radio um, or to have it swing, we just have to um, move the angle. And we can see as the angle moves, we get the swing. Good. And if you want to see what it's actually doing, we can go into edit mode. Press tab. Oh, not edit mode, we can go into wireframe mode, press Z. And we can see as we move the angle what it's doing exactly. Good. So you really just want to deal with the angle here, you don't want to mess about with anything else. Make sure the screw is set to zero or so you'll get different results. And we're using the right axis, which is the Z axis. So everything is okay here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make an animation similar to what we saw in the in the preview. So I'm gonna press Z, come back here and scale this up. So just using S and scale, scale this up. Good. And we're going to give this a blue. So I'm going to new and select this blue. In fact, not even use new, let's use the same blue right here. Great. And let's go to our modifier, set it back to 360. So they have a complete circle. Good. And we're going to move it over to say, frame 25 good and frame 25 let's go ahead and set a keyframe 360 and we're going to have it moving from zero good so that's left clicking and hitting a keyframe and it turns to yellow when the keyframe is set and that we're on the actual frame that the keyframe was set and if we just play it we get our radial circle here good just gonna go ahead and duplicate this scale it in good and then we're gonna go and hit go ahead and give it a different material let's use one of the materials that we have here let's use the darker shade of pink then we're just going to duplicate it one more time with shift and D S to scale in just S to scale in not sure I'm not seeing it yeah it's there all right okay okay then just have to bring them up a bit on the z-axis so that we can see them and again is the axis good and Let's make this middle one the orange. And lastly, we need the Z. Let's just check and see. Let's check and see. I know there's another one. Right, we're going to bring this one up. And scale in Z. And let's make this one the lighter pink. Good. and make it shade there. All right, so everything is moving at the same time, but we do have a radio review for all of these. So all we're going to do here now is stagger the animation. So we're gonna to go to, gonna go down here to where we have our time, where we have our timeline button. And we're gonna to go to our dope sheet editor. We're going to scale up a bit. And we're going to go ahead and just stagger. Let's move this across. Well, let's move the bottom one across first. Good. And let's move this one. So we're selecting the keyframes and just moving them a bit. And let's move this one. Good. So. 
we have a nice staggered radio effect and I think this concludes the radio effect or the clock, clock swing tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. You know, um, if you have suggestions on the flow of the tutorial, I would be happy to take those suggestions. I appreciate that and everybody appreciates that and that helps everybody. So go ahead and leave those suggestions. But until I see you again with a, another tutorial, give up and design a new door. Later.